This is Michael Hurst. We're here at Highland Hill Farm and he's going to talk to you today about some pruning tools and what's wrong with them. We do a lot of pruning. As you can see, we have a lot of trees down that we've cut down and we go through the yards and through the nursery all the time and are pruning often. Now, we don't sell pruners, so it's not like we're going to tell you buy our pruners. We're just going to tell you why you want to make sure you have a good set of pruners. Here you go. Okay, well, here's three sets of pruners that we have and all of which I would not recommend using, but there's two basic kinds that we have. There's the side-by-sides and the anvils. And what side-by-side -side means is it just slides side by, like they slide back and forth. That's what a side-by, it slides back and forth. An anvil is one where it comes down and one side hits the other side and that's as far as it goes. Anvils are good for cut flowers and that's just about it. For pruning you want to use side-by-sides. But each one of these has a little problem to it. This one, for instance, if you take a look at the blade, the blade's actually been uh, bent out the one way. So when it cuts, it will never cut, make a real nice cut to it, and uh, it'll just be a real bad cut. And it's been used a lot, a lot of wear and tear, and I think it's been used on branching that's too big for this kind of shear. This one's no good, because when you take a look at it, it's got a real bad Burr right there. Now that's right where you cut, so that's not really too good. It's also got the tip right there, but the tip, off. that's not really that important. But yeah, you kind of really want to have a nice, clean blade to it. Now this anvil cutter is no good anymore, but if you look at it, it's no longer straight. It looks like that this one was also used on the branch that was too big, and the anvil cutter should be in the center of this part here, but it looks like that this part. So it's off center now. It's bent out. Yeah. So this and this. <laughs> You just wouldn't use this. For that, this is of all the three. Which is the worst one to use right now because of its condition? Uh, it depends on what you're trying to do. But if you're going to do pruning of larger branching, this would be the worst one, just because it's not the right kind of pruner. So. Okay. Thank you very much, Mike. This video shows the difference between a 32 to 36 inch green giant and a 36 inch plus green giant. These green giants are very fast growing and our green giants are fairly full and trimmed in the pots. A lot of people sell them and they're going to be very thin and straggly because if this plant can grow thin and straggly unless it's trimmed. These have been trimmed so they will be thicker and fuller. The 32 to 36 inch green giant is in a, this, this one's in a number five squat pot. They uh, grow very rapidly. It can grow upwards, this plant, to about three feet a year. They are planted six to eight feet apart in rows. And the best way to, to water these is with our drip irrigation. Now, this is a overhead sprinkler. We're sprinkling them here today because it's easier for us to attend this particular group with, with the uh, overhead sprinkler. But for most people, they want to use the drip irrigation, not a soaker hose and not a spray irrigation. This plant has nice deep green color. It is also deer resistant and offers some resistance to bagworms. So the plant is a very hardy plant. And if you were to take this plant and bend it right to the ground, like that, it'll spring right back. So it has great snow load resistance. Now, as you can see, this, this one branch here, that would be a branch I would trim back a little bit so that you don't end up with, with a double leader on the plant. But these plants grow fast and furiously. If you need to cover a neighbor and you want to hide your hot, sexy wife from your prying eyes of your neighbor, this is the plant for you. So give us a call at 215-651-8329. We deliver and plant these up and down the East Coast. Thank you. At Highland Hill Farm, we can ship trees, plants, and shrubs from seedlings and transplants to full-sized nursery stock. We can ship on our trucks, which include F-550s with 20-foot trailers, or we can use common carriers such as tractor trailers and ship tractor trailer loads or partial loads. We ship our seedlings and small transplants by UPS 
and we also have planting equipment available for you for large purchasers of seedlings and transplants. So give us a call at 215-651-8329 for your tree and shrub needs. Thank you.